India's upcoming budget 2024-2025 is expected to highlight the success of its production-linked incentives for electronics by announcing a new PLI for sub-assemblies and components. Well, this scheme, valued at approximately $500 million, it aims to create an ecosystem for higher local sourcing of components. And all this is according to sources. Well, designed with extensive stakeholder participation, the scheme addresses local sourcing issues that have plagued previous PLIs. However, finding companies to participate remains a challenge. India does not manufacture the high-quality components needed, making local sourcing difficult. China dominates 90% of the electronic component market, exporting nearly $10.8 billion dollars in electronic products annually, while India manages around $180 million, Vietnam has surged ahead due to a lack of local sourcing requirements. Further complicating India's position, the new PLI scheme focuses on increasing domestic value addition, but Indian companies face high capital costs, limited technology access and a lack of skilled workforce. Joint ventures may be required to kickstart the initiative. Success stories from East Asia suggest a first globalized, then localized approach, which might work better for India. India's strained ties with China has worsened since border tensions escalated four years ago, impacting economic ties. Despite hopes to shift the electronics ecosystem from China to India, the trade deficit with China has ballooned. As India aspires to become the world's third largest economy, it faces the dilemma of allowing access to the cheapest global inputs to build scale for starting or starting from scratch. The government must decide whether to prioritize exporting to the world or boosting its local value addition.